bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, you got a whole beer? Oh, you too. Let my nuts hang in the dump in the pool. And you, are you going to hear us just... We don't got that long left, man. As in the character and as in the game. But the story is definitely coming to the end. I don't know how long Arthur got, respectfully. I'm glad we got Sadie though, because without Sadie, a lot of stuff, bro, Sadie is a GOAT. Sadie is, is the GOAT. Can can Sadie get a game? I want to play as Sadie. <laughs> Watch her get brutally murdered this episode. Oh gosh. Hey man, just make sure to hit the like button, you know? I would really appreciate it. I know you haven't seen the video. Maybe it's this first time even clicking on Jack's video. I promise you it's good. Or maybe it's not. Who knows? You would have to watch further. But how further do you want to get? I know I want to get far. Do you want to get far? Shut your bitch ass All right, we're back here with Dot. Last horse died. And honestly, I don't care. I don't care if it's how much, how, I don't care how good it is. Dot's better in every way. Everybody say hello, Dot, too. Don't forget, every every time you see him, you gotta hit him with a, hello, Dot. Howdy, partner. How you doing today, governor? Hold up. Wait, Abigail, you're coming? What the hell, Abigail? I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. We got you, Abigail. Thank you both. I'm thinking like she looks beautiful, right? But <laughs> I bet she looked like a whole bunch of pixels in the first game, bro. Just straight pixels. Hopefully, give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot. And look for John. This time of day, prisoners <gasps> will probably be working the fields. Okay. All we gotta do is take out all the guards. Forgot to bring my pump. Way out of there. Seems simple enough. <sighs> I forgot to bring my pump action. Okay, bring us over. Hopefully I can find one, pick it up, use it. At least a double barrel. <gasps> we good? <sighs> Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. <laughs> <My boy. laughs> okay. Come on up. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that bar just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Take the shot, Arthur. Oh, okay. You staying up here? Wait, shit. I don't think that was John. Let's <laughs> go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think one of those guards I doubt that. Kinda shot him in a noggin. Oh, uh, you ain't John. Mother. Everybody got a shotgun. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. <laughs> Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. I will be taking that double barrel. Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, 
no you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I get the all right. So, where do we go? I thought it was in camera. But, oh, no, no. That's the horse. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Eston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Hey, don't... So, uh, are you a uh, popular employee, uh, my friend? Uh, not especially. Uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. I think I forgot my pump. We're about to be close quarters. I really hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. That's so crazy. Oh, she's just like, she's her now. Bastard. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! I don't think they're gonna do that, Sadie. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One. Two. Three. They don't care. Uh, Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11. 12. 13. Uh, faster. <laughs> 16. Uh, hurry up. 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. <laughs> I know. Hey. Hey. Oh, you got a whole beer? Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. Scoop it in, boop it in, boop, 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 boop. All your friends are dead. Let's clear these. He thought he was making it. I'm on auto drive. Cover us. Don't. Let's move. Okay, let's go. Wait, this gun's actually viable. Just wait. The right. Drop for killing that dude. He thought he was making it. Coming from the board. You don't know. Got a whole beard now. I've never seen him with a beard before. Does that catch on fire? Hold up. Nope. We gotta move. How we get out of here? We gotta go. Ah. This way. Follow me. Get down. Ah. Hold them up so we can ah. get to the boat. Ah. Okay, my fault. Trying to get these headshots, you know? Ah. Need a hundred headshots for that gold camo, dog. I 
gun does that. I'm coming. I'm coming. Stop shooting at me. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. Nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Let me get my boat. Wait, does it, how did my... All right. Wait. Stop. 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 See you later. Stop. I turned that off. Why is that still on? I'm tired of seeing that. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real. You don't even know about Lenny. All them years. Arthur. He was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And Molly. And did we... What about the the money? Nope. Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but... Molly's dead. You've been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. Bitch. So dead too. Jesus, maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you. Dutch, that's ain't. Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so it might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Man, if I was like any of these people, bro, I'd be gone, bro. I'd be gone. You're gonna have to find me. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna live nowhere. I'm just gonna be... I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep moving. It ain't a good life, but... Man, it's better than dealing with Dutch and all of this. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! None of your plans work. John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. 
And now they make Look at Micah. Look at Micah and Dutch. We got two teams right now, bro. It's just Micah and Dutch versus everybody. All right, then. You know them for how long? What was it, six months? Or it's probably a lot longer now. Probably like a year or something. I don't know how long this game, you know, elapsed. Time, the time elapsed, elapsed. Arthur? What the hell? Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. That's where we're on to next, Dan. Arthur. What? Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... Oh. Here's a friend. Has anyone seen Kane? Where's Kane? Hi, Arthur. What day? Have you seen Kane? No, son. Sorry, I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up the. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! Kane! Ain't that the dog? Kane. I'm sure he'll turn up. He's been gone a while. Well, he'll be back when he's hungry. Oh, the dog's missing. Ain't nothing going right. All right. Oh my God. You followed. What is wrong you with followed. you? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? Why are you jumping at me like that? You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. <laughs> well, something's gotta happen. That ain't happening. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth Don't it. be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell nah. Where's my horse? I didn't get my damn... Uh. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil. His law. These are wrongs that you can't bribe, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. Let's kill America. He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. And he's in here? Why would he? How'd the water look like that? 
Oh, them fish is on crack. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Oh, we're waiting for a boat. These crates. What's that, my pump? Forgot to bring it. Oh, hold up. There's a tarot card. Cigarette card. Whatever you call it. This is a boat, at least. It's the lake storm, but they're just straight dead eye everything. If it's a boat, then I don't need dead eye. I'm not trying to two shot everybody. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. Bro. What to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. I would have. Boom, 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 boom. That's all our issues are right there. We could have killed them all. Mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence... Where's Micah? Wait, where did he just sir. go? I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Oh! Noise, Arthur! Woo! Then we should have just already. Oh, shit! Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dutch? Oh. Come on! Mike is going after those papers. Let's find him. Papers? And get out oh. Of here. That was a civilian. That's another civilian. I don't like doing this fight in here. You just shoot my hat off? I found something interesting. Okay, well he's dead. Are the Pinkertons still gonna go after us? Now that I know like where the like the spot is to kill him instantly, using a pistol actually works. Let's go, let's go. You're behind me, shut up! It wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. Ah. More up top here. 
gun them down, and let's get the hell out of this place! Shoot that oil wagon! You won't make it out alive! Is that what they want me to shoot? I will not be shooting that. Come on. We can take the horses from that coach! Is that another one that looks exactly like bro? They're trying to force me to have that. At least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Oh no, Mike. So uh, see, I'm glad I didn't get that horse. All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us. <laughs> On the left, lower the bastards. This is a Langster. Oh, oh, I might as well use this. Actually, let's do this. They're trying to cut us off again. Go left. Lose them through the river. Look out, fellas. They're still coming. Shoot. Bruh. For now, maybe. When I tell you my horses isn't listening to me, it's just not doing what I ask. Whoa. We all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. <laughs> Arthur's so dumb with this. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. You're talking to Micah? She hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. We are wanted on this whole side of the map. Wait, how am I supposed to traverse? Wait, maybe it's not like Blackwater. Because in Blackwater, like, you go, like, they just spawn in front of your face. Hopefully it's not like that. What's up, Reverend? <coughs> I haven't had a mission with you since the start of the game, bro. You okay, Dang. Mr. Morgan? No, I'm gonna die. I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Bro, I want to do this, because they did it. They just went to Sadie. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? 
The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Hey. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Where are you at? Where are you at mentally? Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Jeez, you look so wrong. Where is Dutch at mentally? More horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. You got enough folks coming after us without adding arms to the list. To walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay. Look at our horses, Charles. We beautiful as hell, ain't we? Horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son. Tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to No, this happened with Molly. Many women too. Where I think I was about to talk to her, and then out of nowhere, I think Dutch pulled me away. Supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. That's such fire names. Eagle flies. Like, imagine walking around school. Hey, what's up, eagle flies? Like, bro. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what commotion. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise. Bro, we had everybody lined up right there. That's like the third time he's got away. The chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. Chapter four, you said it was the last one. I remember it, because I just got done editing it. There's Peta. You lied. You are no much more than a liar. Like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Oh, wait. I forgot to get my guns. All right. I forgot to get my guns. Oh no, I got to get my guns. We need to get that boat ashore. Why is the sick one doing this? Dutch, if you don't grab this. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be assured before anybody even knows what happened. Four videos in. We got a couple more to go. What time is it? It's 12. I still got to edit a video. I got one or two more in me. And then tomorrow's going to be another day of straight recording. We're going to get things done. Trust 
try not to kill anyone, Arthur. All right, I got you. I'm gonna go smoke. All right, be back in a bit. Three of them. What are we supposed to do? What the hell? Jeb, we got a problem here. I found a body. We have attackers on board. We'll take him back. What's ours? Man, it wouldn't take that long just to try some things. Pretty big balls to just stand in the front. What is wrong with you? <laughs> balls all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked. We're taking on water. Balls, get them out of here. Oh, oh. Your father will not be uh... a. You? You're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. The damn snake. Man, one day I want to have a pool. You know? Over here, come on. Like, at my house. So, like, that's like, that's rich. <laughs> or maybe I'm just broke, who knows? But with my own personal pool, man. I want to get booty butt naked. Let my nuts hang in to jump in the pool. And you, all you're gonna hear is the smack of my balls against the water. You know how much that would hurt? Oh, I didn't even think about that. A ball flop. <laughs> oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Got you, bro. I'm gonna tickle your pickle. 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 What's up, Micah? And Bill. Just a hothead and Micah. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was he followed? Excuse me? 
was you followed. Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit! Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> I want him dead so bad. All right. Bill, can you stab him in his? He lucky. I I, I catch him in his sleep. Mike but he's done. Says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> a pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay, let's hold up here. Like, bro, if John, like, if Arthur just don't like leave for a while, just let his like last days just be nice. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and. You, you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. A car? No, a rifle. Holy moly, this gun looks like a thing to mess with. Jesus. It looks thick. These people. Move, you wicked! Move! Come on, let's get you out of. Oh my gosh, this is good. And it reloads like that? Okay, wait, 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 wait. It reloads like that? It's my new sniper, bro. Yo, Bill, thank you. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. I missed like four or five shots. Not, not good at all. I could use a drink after that. Yeah, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Still 
more behind us. But the amount of ammo I go through these episodes. <laughs> Q? Why is my Q not working? Oh. Really? Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Make it Honestly, I think you the best. It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. With? Whoa. So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. you go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and... Uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. It's like, I'm sick. Why am I doing everything? It's just like you're trying to make sure I die. If you're in a legendary fish location, your map has been updated. I guess let's catch a fish real quick. This water ain't deep at all. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I guess we caught it first bite. Yo, why is everything in that pond? There's a, a, a rainbow around here too. And it's like the worst fish. All right. Let's get rid of Comb O'Driscoll. Hey there, mister. Morning, sir. Don't tell me this is the same rat place. Like a lady. It's the oh, same no. rat. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Comb O'Driscoll. Uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, what the hell? we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this, in this. Is that police outfit? Yes, sir. It is. Okay. <laughs> That's why she was mad. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Hey. Comb hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. That's why I'm here. I lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Hello, ladies. Keep those fingers off those triggers, cause we'll need cool heads and calm. Uh, what the? What is wrong with that damn dog? Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. 
This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. I witnessed another death over here, bruh. It was not good, bruh. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? That's sick, bro. I feel like if I was back here, back in these days, I probably would watch it once to like understand what it feels like to watch a man's eyes go away. We're gonna wait. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Sadie about to blow this whole place up. And that's why I like her. Is that horse, officer? Yes, sir. Oh, hell, the missus has me out. The, the crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. He's cutting in there. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. Let's go, quiet. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. Oh, yeah. I hear. I smell blood in the water. There's only room for one of us. What's this, then? Gun case. Are you fucking serious, you stupid mother? Critical region highlights. I already know that. There goes your escape plan. Why wouldn't you stab me from behind? And another one of these rifles. For as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from barbary. Oh, hold on, let me get my head back. Yet justice itself can at times be barbed. And I can't put it back on. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. Let me zoom in. He has murdered, tortured, there we go. robbed. If I shot the rope for him, for I would die. Five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Don't sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we <laughs> enjoy. But it is a task 
we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen. Oh, look at the hope goes. Like, he just all. Call Modrisco. He's scared now. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Golly, Sadie! Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these O'Driscoll. Which one? Just don't get no blood on my boots. Just gotta make sure. Alright, as long as I shoot where we're at. This sniper is so good. We got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Oh, it. They should have like showed the bullet mark in his head. Look at Jack's behind me. <laughs> I didn't even realize. He's sleeping like that. Tilly, why are you walking up on me? Uh, there's a conversation that's purely silent. This is a great combo. I'm gonna. I'll see you later. Oh, what? What is going? What is going on? Um. I'm gonna guess the letters from the girl. My dear Arthur. It is. You never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. All right. Wasn't expecting to tear up. Goodbye, dear friend. Hey, Arthur. Uh. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? We'll work something out, I promise. 
All right then. <laughs> yes, Arthur. What do you mean? Somebody's talking. I can feel it. Who do you think it is? I got no idea. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Oh. You don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, uh, I've stopped all that silly business. Get out, bro. Reverend, please go. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. Was she in Saint Denis? Was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Get out of here, Reverend! Please. Somebody has to live throughout all this. Here we are. And it won't be her. <laughs> We're gonna leave all this episode here, man. If you like the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you know. Uh <sighs> almost got a tear rolling down my face reading that goodbye letter. Stop, Paul, stop, stop. I'm a I'm a man now. I just hit 18. I can't be crying over games. Stop, I'm a man now.